Hey, Castle Gamer, welcome back to Chef Life. This is episode 15. We're going to continue on with our pattern of taking on new recipes as fast as possible. The next new one that we're going to learn is, I believe, pronunciation wise, the classic Bouffe Burning Bourguignon. Is that right? Bourguignon. Uh, yeah, we'll learn that one. Another new recipe to practice and an easier menu to uh, manage. So. Let's hope for another easy day. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to wait on help, though, for a while, as they, they've got us pretty low on that bar for uh, how clean it is today. This one adds bacon to the list. This is finally our first recipe using bacon, which is uh, quite the popular ingredient in the U.S. Alright, uh, while that's going, let's see what we can do to start one of these other recipes. Not the capris, we do have the meatballs, I suppose. All right, we've got somebody at the door, uh, but we do have that first one done. How many gave us three? That's not a lot. But we are already all cleaned up from our basic prep for the day. Let's go get one of these in the oven very early in the prep stage also. So uh, we do have somebody waiting at the door. I haven't seen her for a little while. We're getting her next Venge looks like Camilla. Hey chef, how's it going? Have you got a minute? I was taking part in a live stream for charity and if the donation goal was reached, I promised to organize an event here at the restaurant. With all the followers I gained from our collaboration, we far exceeded our goal. The only problem is that's a lot of people who want to come here, like more than the restaurant can handle. So here's the plan. You put on multiple services with a bistronomic cuisine menu linked to my videos. I know it's short notice, but I trust you. And I also know my followers will be well looked after here. Okay, so there's there's our excuse to get up to the uh, bistro level. <laughs> Too long. Burnt. Okay. Uh, good thing we got another. Forgot all about it after we went and talked to Camilla. Uh, Kasim, hey, a crate full of ingredients fell. And they're a little damaged now. What do you think? Can we use them or should we throw them out? Uh, we're going to have to take a minus one ingredient quality because we don't have any spares. Our customers will be blown away today, believe me. All right, uh, let's see. Adele, 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 what to have you do? Uh, I wasted one of these. So I'm we'll on it, another. Chef. Don't blink or you'll miss it. You know what, those are nearly done as is. I will not wait and throw those in the fridge. That's nearly done. Let's Chef. See, can I cook that? No. We have to just store it in the fridge. Hmm. 
Oh man, oh man. Put it down. Ow, nearly, nearly burnt that one. Never heard the uh, indicator that it was done the first time. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Restaurant should be good and clean finally. Everything okay? Uh, let's go ahead and get Kasim to make a few extras. <clears throat> and let's see what else can Adele do. Okay, chef. Okay, we'll, we'll get a little more prep work in it anyway. Does she have enough time for? Hmm. Nope, that's it. Yeah, we're already prepped for four of those. Uh, I suppose Leave we could get, me. you know, more. Right away. But then this is Adele. Yes, chef. Give me some more of these. Okay. Understood, chef. All right, got enough to get us started there. First order comes in. Uh, what is it that I needed to add in? Olives. Tomato sauce. There's the olives. Okay. Am I making the right one? I'm not making the right one. <laughs> okay, we'll get the other one ready. Put that on the hot plate. Anyone need a hand? Okay, and then this is the one I need right now. I need a pot. Carrots. I don't know why they don't want to prep it. They're already angry, so we'll just get this thing done in the appropriate amount of time. And in the meantime, let's make another. it was so easy and yet I made an absolute meal of it pun intended uh, okay a caprice all right well that's gonna put us roughly halfway through our day in the meantime, this needs to get covered. A little late there, but that's okay. Not too bad. Go ahead and get that plated. Okay. 
I thought for sure there was going to be one more table coming in. Ah, that first one was a nightmare. That was only nine customers. Yeah, that was only nine customers today, not ten. I knew we weren't quite there. We are also just about to hit that level 20. First table, super late. Really lowered the score, but good scores on the rest of the day. Uh, I think the minus eight was the lowered ingredients. So we've got two things coming up. One, we're about to hit level 20. I mean, we are a few XP away from hitting level 20, and that unlocks a whole world of new possibilities in terms of new plates that we can buy, new decorations for the restaurant, new kitchen items. And I'm hoping it might trigger, you know, it's a nice even round number that it might trigger us getting the third uh, employee. Maybe not, but that's what I'm hoping we will get out of that. So level 20 is going to be a big change. But in the short term, we have pasta di mama. We have three new pasta recipes uh, that we're going to get out of this one. Pasta bolognese. Pasta with pesto and pasta with spicy tomato sauce. So three new recipes have all been added, coming in at $25, $25, and $30. The Bolognese, the uh, most expensive of those. But again, our format remains the same for now, except that we have three days already of unlocked recipes to uh, get through and learn and prep to be you know, upgraded within that couple short days. We've made it to a full month as well here as we enter day 31. No matter how you count a month, we're, we're at it now. Really starting to get a feel for the game, but of course, you know, that rapid change to the menu is meaning I'm, I'm certainly having my difficulties. It's not like it's, you know, something that I'm finding easy right now. Uh, it's absolutely challenging. We have that first extra ready. We're gonna switch uh, switch it up and have Kasim helping with uh, prep. And you're gonna have to hang on to that extra cheese too. Just another thing, just in your hand. Not a fan of the plating on that one, but no time to mess around with it. And yeah, we're just gonna call that good for now. Definitely have our routine when it comes to the capris now. At least that one has remained consistent because it's still not leveled up. It takes a really long time to get it through to that next level. have three of these soups ready for the start of the day which three is really not enough but at least we'll have 
three ready. It would have been nice if we could have gotten six ready. But the other dish you can't prayer, prepare until it's time. But we're prepared to make two, at least as far as they can help. And I'll have to uh, kind of prep the rest right off the bat. Let's kind of check in on that. So we have... That's it, other than the olive and the tomato sauce. So we have what we need other than olive and tomato sauce, and then we'll just need a saute pan. And with double sets at the start, I'll, I'll do double. So I'll, I'll get the double going right at the beginning. So we'll have six of those made. And then once that's done, I'm, I'm going to try to get another one of uh, what we're working on here, the bouffe bourguignon. We'll, we'll try to get that one ready uh, for a second set as well. Compared to most days, we are definitely better prepared today. Having this just ready in time to squeeze in the prep, we, we have not timed things right decent way to be able to do that with uh, too many dishes. Sweet. Hey, we got the first thing. Six of them ready to go. Uh, we got one here, and we do need one of these guys. So let's take one. Let's get that one. And we had three of the other as well. So feel free to good get start. Working on something. First order we'll have help. done. I'll put this one straight out. Otherwise, it's gonna get cold. service that did not feel like 10 that did not feel like 10 at all but it was three three and four it was only three tables but they were big tables big groups okay did we finally serve the right meals that make you happy Horace, this place, the food. I keep expecting to turn my head and see my mother in the kitchen. Thank you, chef. As promised, here's something by way of thanks. You deserve it. Hygiene all the way up. Responsibility all the way up. We're almost locked in on 10 regular customers. We could definitely do more, but I, I've just been wanting to get that third member of the kitchen. Not quite sure how to unlock it. I was hoping level 20 would do it. Maybe we'll see them tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, I might have to actually expand the restaurant first. More tables, more customers, poof, more help. Could be the trick, because I was hoping level 20 would do it. Doesn't seem to be doing it. It says you need to gain more experience to recruit more staff. I figured that meant my level and getting to level 20 might help. Uh, Kasim, very happy. Adele, not as happy. She spent the whole day cleaning and not helping. So we'll swap them out tomorrow for that. We're done with one regular uh, event story for Hippolyte. We've got two done for Camilla with the third one already unlocked, but that's definitely an advanced one. And we finally have finished the first one for Horus. And now that I've hit level 20, I'm going to be able to do some redecorating uh, tomorrow instead of uh, a new recipe. So it should make for an easier prep day. And actually, I might still try to throw in uh, a completed recipe. 
that'll be tricky though but if I do my purchases now I can quickly put things out there yeah we'll be okay on day 32 we have 100% entered our second month now I have a new look to the appearance for the character new outfit finally and then uh, as for what we're gonna do here uh, we only have well a moment to try to do it we're, we're gonna have to try to work quickly here all right and then just a couple changes in the kitchen with the uh, the marble countertop being added in but uh, and then marble here too or at least a marble look to it Ooh, I need to change my menu for the day and then we'll get started so that that only took a matter of seconds and doesn't put us too far behind on what our schedule was uh, the Corsican veal has already leveled up so we want to replace that with the Bolognese We're ready to get started on our prep for the day and can still get a new item today? brought in by the way these days I am balancing as we have everything we needed you can see for 196 it does enough to, to keep us just on the side that we need to have a positive responsibility score Got it. and keeps us under 200 on the expenses for the food usually take a minute to kind of check out we have prepared pasta dough for this one again this this is very much what my daily routine has been looking like of late usually I kind of skip past this part through editing uh, today yeah not so much but kind of try to quickly come in change the menu order the ingredients I order in that same style and then get through here place it out in that time while I'm waiting run and grab what that recipe is take a quick look at what that recipe is uh, try to not forget that I need things from the spice rack but we're now more items from the spice rack than what we have room to hang on to so that's annoying if we need oregano for this one I'm gonna have to swap it out with something It's Horus, starting the next phase with him. Still haven't forgotten your menu from the last time I was here. You certainly proved how talented you are. And that talent might be able to help me. I'm trying to find a dish that my mother used to make. It had bone duck in it and also orange juice. And that's all I could remember. If you manage to find the dish and offer it on your menu, I would be eternally grateful. <laughs> I would not. I will eventually cover it, but I have this thing against eating duck. It's a silly thing, mind you. It's a very silly thing. It's a very petty thing, but I do not eat duck. Why? Because I am one. I went to the University of Oregon. Our mascot is the ducks. That's that's the caprice ready for the night. 
and we've got these two working away on preparing other things like the spaghetti and the sauce uh, but they're very much working on the second dish what about the third dish uh, and this is one that right I can make a few of these uh, okay I've already got the cut of beef I need the cut of bacon we can get means what we're gonna do is we're gonna try it's gonna disappear on us I'm sure but we'll try to leave the uh, spaghetti on the warmer I said that's a lot easier to replace than uh, having to start these guys over again having six of them ready means we're done we've got two dishes totally done uh, for the service And then we have four sauces and one spaghetti on the other. We can get them each making some spaghetti again and then, you know, make a sauce. And that's going to be all there is to the night. This is going to be the easiest night we've had in ages. Plenty of sauce to get through the rest of the night. We're gonna have two pastas ready for additional orders. We're gonna have three cheeses ready for additional orders. And we've got a table of three waiting. Uh, I don't know if this is our last table or not. There might be one more after that. We're about five customers in right now. Three soups. The only challenge here will be to plate all three of them while they're still hot. Still hot. I don't Not know perfectly what I hot. Work on, chef. I think this is our last table, so. Not sure, but there can't be much more. Yeah, two more customers probably. Two more. We've got nice tea soups. Plating, chef. Makes you want to eat it. We've got two of everything ready, so easy enough. just didn't care for the spaghetti it wasn't terribly well done but we're already most of the way through level 20 we did make profit on the day of 150 despite not having any any extras I think maybe I need to just keep those two helping me out in the short term I don't need the extras uh, one of them cleaning most of the day and then helping the last part of the day is probably a good path in the short term you know, going forward, that Capri's in particular does take a while to prepare. I always have more than enough, but there's a fine line between three and six because three is kind of one set and six is two sets. There isn't a in between on that, uh, not really, anyway. And we've used four or five multiple times. We've used three minimum every day. 
it is the special, so it is supposed to be ordered more often, and it, it's definitely averaging about four per day. So preparing, you know, numbers four, five, six is a necessity, otherwise you're going to run into a problem on the evening itself. Uh, but where does it put you with the other, <laughs> other items? That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. I am going to be taking a little bit of a break. I am going on vacation. I'll be back in a few weeks. Uh, I'm just recording ahead of time and stretching episodes out a little bit over that period of time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.